howdy do guys um it's resident evil month and i could have swore that i covered this scenario before but i guess i didn't uh, i looked through some old videos and i couldn't find anything about it so i'll talk about it now Lisa Trevor, um, one of the antagonists of the first Resident Evil game, well, namely the GameCube remake, she wasn't in like the 96 original, but basically Lisa Trevor is the daughter of George Trevor. Now George Trevor is this architect that uh, Oswald Spencer hired to construct the mansion. He's the guy that built all of the traps and all the different crazy rooms and shit in the mansion. Uh, just this European guy. So, he brings his family to the mansion to stay there, like, af after its completion. And, I guess he stayed behind or something. Anyway, they didn't go there together. He sent the wife and the daughter there, and then he was going to meet up with them later. But by the time he got to the mansion, the wife and daughter were MIA, and he's like, the fuck, bro? What had actually happened was Umbrella captured them and experimented on them. I'm 90% sure they just killed the mother outright. And Lisa, the daughter, was the first recipient of a T-virus injection. So, you know, Oswald Spencer and company found the progenitor virus in a flower in Africa. In that stairway to the sun or whatever the fuck that place was called. And they extracted it and turned it into the T-Virus. Which I guess they were trying to create super soldiers with. I.e. the Tyrant. But really all it did was fucking reanimate dead bodies. Or just start a necrosis in regular people, turning them into zombies. So, yeah, the super soldier thing, mm, not likely. So they uh, captured Lisa Trevor and just injected her with the shit for, you know, X amount of times, and yeah. Meanwhile, George Trevor shows back up, and uh, he's like, where's my family at? And Spencer's like, I don't know. So they capture George Trevor and uh, experiment on him as well. Now, in regular lore, that's where the story ends, and we didn't really know anything else. Like, they're just assumed dead. But in the remake, if you go downstairs, there's like these four like masks you can acquire and they open up like a secret room like in the in this basement and you go down there and you have to open up this fucking coffin and there's a crimson head, which crimson heads are just souped up versions of regular zombies. They're red and they have long nails and they're just stronger and faster. Essentially, a crimson head zombie is the in-between phase in between a zombie and a liquor because yes liquors are humans or they once were humans so um through experimentation and surgery and whatnot um umbrella turned zombies into liquors anyway so uh back to that if you open this coffin up you see a prototype crimson head he's the first one and yeah that's george trevor they turn his ass into a crimson head. So, just a little tidbit. But back to Lisa. So, you know, they constructed the mansion in like the seven, like 60s or 70s or some shit. So, they experimented on her for years and years and years. And in doing so, uh, her body adapted to the virus, kind of like how Alice's did in the movies. And she just absorbed it and kind of like, I don't know, it just became it. Like, she could just be superhuman, I guess. Uh, and they also injected her with the NE-alpha parasite, the same thing they put in Nemesis' head to control him. But her body was so strong at that point that she just absorbed the parasite and, like, fucking disintegrated it, pretty much. So it could not control her. And through all of this experimentation, her skin started falling off, and she started uh, doing weird shit, apparently she kept her sanity, well, I don't want to say that, she kept her intelligence to a degree, like, she was, uh, cognitive to an extent, and so she, like, fashioned this mask out of all these human faces from all these other victims, and so she just rolled around wearing, like, a fucking leather face type mask, and then she resided underneath the mansion in, like, these catacombs, and she had like this little bedroom set up. It was pretty cute. But 
As far as Lisa was concerned, her family was still alive, and so she just roamed the basement of, like, the mansion or whatever for years and years, assuming that her mom's alive and looking for her. So she wasn't, like, captive per se, but she wasn't, like, free either. I don't know. But anyway, so like I said, her body was uh, so well in tune to the T-virus, it actually started mutating it, and her body started growing like these eyeball-type tumors, and started, you know, started changing the virus. And that's when William Birkin comes into play. When, you know, Lisa started um, changing or whatever, they extracted that out of her body, and that became the G-virus. That's why in the second game, when Birkin injects himself with it, he's got, like, the eyeball tumors and all that shit, because that was from Lisa. Lisa turned, you know, the T-virus into the G-virus, pretty much, inside of her body. So, yeah, um, you come across her a couple times in the game. There's, like, this one time in this cabin, uh, and then you finally go underneath the mansion to the catacombs and fight her yet again, and... Her fate is kind of left open-ended. Uh, it's hard to say what the hell happens. You pretty much shoot her a bunch, and she's pretty much indestructible. So all she really does is just fall, like, down this, like, fucking cavern, and you just hear her go, ah, and then that's it. She just kind of falls into darkness. Does she die? We don't know. But yeah, and, uh, you know... Marina Mazapan, or Maz Mazapa, whatever the fuck her name is, she's going to play Lisa Trevor in the movie. So that's interesting that they're incorporating Lisa Trevor into the film. I don't know if she'll be, like, the main antagonist or not, because Birkin is in the film as well. But they're definitely doing the storyline where they capture her and experiment on her. And it may lead to Birkin having the G-Virus at some point. So that's cool. But well, that's, uh, that's Lisa Trevor for you. Uh, George Trevor helped Spencer build the mansion, and then they captured him and killed his family and turned his ass into a crimson head and experimented on her for years and years and eventually got the G-Virus out of it. So, yeah, Lisa Trevor. All right, guys, hope you're enjoying Resident Evil Month. I'll see you later.